Okay, hello everyone. We are the vacationers. I'm Olivia, she's me and Althea. We're going to begin our project with element A, the problem justification. So for when we began our project brainstorming ideas for problem sharing with traveling, because that is our topic here, we brainstormed many problems with traveling and we came up with five main problems. They're keeping your suitcase organized, having all of the supplies you may need on your flight, social distancing now with COVID-19, um, noise and need of noise cancellation, and lost luggage. So we decided the most universal problem that pretty much everyone can go through and with any type of traveling is the first one, keeping your suitcase organized. So we wrote a business problem statement first, and the way we wrote that, we said, keeping your luggage organized while traveling is difficult due to overpacking. All items in your luggage can get all mixed together after trying to find only one item. It causes it to become unorganized and separate. So next we did a research problem statement and we incorporated different points of our research to really have a selling factor with this statement. So we began with 1.3 billion travelers all over the world annually are stuck with the problem that their luggage is overpacked and easily can become unorganized while traveling. Travelers tend to bring along more items in their luggage than what is needed for the trip, causing it to be difficult. Finding the clothing items you need at a given time. Trying to dig around for specific clothing items to cause your luggage to become unorganized and second. Overpacking occurs when travelers bring more than what is needed for their trip due to last minute packing, weather permitting outfits, and the unknown of what you might want to wear. Next, we did some research on the different types of luggage. We found that there are mainly three types of luggage rolling suitcases, backpacks, and duffel bags. And we included different points of information on each group of those luggage types. Next, we did research on luggage sizes. For luggage sizes, we did um, standard research through the airport system with carry-on luggage, check-in luggage, and your personal item on your flight. And then there's different um, size dimensions for every airline. So we included one of the general things on there. And lastly, we did research on luggage features. So things like easy to roll wheels, telescoping handles, inside handles, accessible outside pockets, and spacious interior with pockets and zippers. And we included like the most common knowledge on those. Next, we included our design brief, which actually shows who our client was, our end user, who we are, and we created a design statement with our criteria there too. Next, we have some constraints. So we made these constraints for our project just so that we can go by certain things so that it could go universally when traveling. So with our size, we have our dimensions 27 by 21 by 14. We, we did not want our it to go over 50 pounds, your cost $20 or less, time deadline by June 2021, and we wanted it to be enough to support the organization, key features, we wanted it to be foldable, small, compact, and then we wanted it to be safe. All right, element B, our current task solution. All right, these are our patents that we've researched, we had more than at least 10 patents. These are our most popular patents. Um, all these patents different in organization, features, um, what they're made out of. As you can see in our top right uh, and corner of this PowerPoint, we have what our project is based off of and what it is somewhat like what that's what we based it off of. All right. Here is our existing product research. Uh, most of these you can find on Amazon. Um, our, the most popular one is the packing tube. Um, every, almost every single brand, you can find almost 200 different types of brands that make these packing tubes. Um, the one I really like is the hanger one. It's uh, different. I've never seen it done before. Um, and it really helps organize. And it almost has drawers for your, your shirts, t-shirts, underwear, socks, everything. Um, um, element C, this is our design specification. These were our survey results. Here we asked how old they were. The majority said they were between 16 and 20 years old. The next question was, have you ever traveled away from home? Everybody said yes. So if they would have said no, the survey would have stopped at that point because it wouldn't have made sense for them to answer the other probability questions if they never traveled. And then the next question was, what type of luggage do you use when traveling? 63 people said suitcase, which is the majority. The second most 
shortage of back time with 35 bills. Then the next question asks, how, how often do you feel the need to purchase a new form of luggage? The majority said rarely ever with 22 votes. And coming to a close, 19 people said once every two to three years, and 18 people said once every five years. Up next was, do you find it difficult to keep your luggage organized throughout your trip? Most people said yes with 45 votes. After that, a single amount of people voted yes when asked, do you usually have to take time to reorganize your luggage throughout your trip? Next question was, do you find yourself overpacking and taking trips away from home? The majority said yes with 60 votes. And next was, do you ever wear every single article of clothing that you pack on a trip? Most people said no with 62 votes. And last but not least, people were asked, do you believe keeping your luggage organized is a problem worth solving? The majority said yes, having 61 votes. This was our similar solution to this in the trip. Here we have a clothing bag for the first one. The second is a set of packing sheets to put in suitcases and keep your items separated. And the third one is a portable green shop. It can be sort of smaller to make it packing convenient. We've rated all, all three of these items on a scale of zero to two, with zero being the least to meet the requirement and two being the most to meet the requirement. And after evaluating them, all three items turned out to have the same totals and adding scores up. For element D, it's the concept development. First, we begin sketching and brainstorming our different ideas that we're thinking about. On the left is everything of my sketches, in the center are Nate's sketches, and on the right are Althea's. So we pretty much all came up with different ideas and we kind of bring them together and we just threw out different ideas that we thought of. Next, we did a brainstorm decision matrix where we included all those drawings and ideas on a decision matrix. We rated them from zero to two, two being the best and zero being the worst. And then we gave them some criteria for the decision matrix. Our criteria is it maintains organization, it takes a small amount of space, it allows for quick packing, it's concealable and it's used in multiple forms of luggage and it's inexpensive. So we have two pages, two slides of this. Um, the perfect score would be a 12. None of our ideals got a perfect score of a 12, but we did get three options that got us 11. And these are the three that got a score of 11 that would best fit our criteria. So we have in the top, it's the foldable backpack. On the bottom left, it's the movable Velcro divider, and in the bottom right, it's the compartments in a grocery bag. Next, we decided upon choosing the um, Velcro divider. We thought that that was the best choice out of all of our ideas, and it would work in more forms of luggage. So, like the foldable backpack would have been a great idea, but it doesn't also work with people who travel mainly in suitcase. So we decided that the Velcro divider was kind of the best in all forms of luggage for everyone and every person who traveled. So this is our technical drawing of that. The black version part is um, representing the Velcro strips along the sides of the divider. Oh, and the application is set. First, we design, we use science in our project. Um, we're finding the materials for our prototype and then which materials we would use which ones would hold up um, with durability, uh, lightness, and what we ultimately wanted in our product for our prototype. Next was the engineering, the whole point. Uh, we use energy engineering in every aspect of our project um, using math, science, and technology, um, all of those in a combination in order to create our innovation. Um, and all those elements really to show how much of an engineering we need. Next would be Technology, uh, technology really correlated with everything that we did in this uh, project and using our innovation that goes along with Zoom calls, virtual meetings, um, creating our first prototype on Tinkercad, um, getting our materials through Amazon and through other resources. Uh, we, we just couldn't have done that if we didn't have technology. So, and the last one would be definitely math. Um, 
we use math in our, our uh, innovation um, by finding what around uh, best dimension between fast pack two cases and water of two cases, um, which the best of our findings, we come out with an eight by six by 0.5 of an inch organizer, which was really versatile to every single backpack and luggage that we could go to. Um, element F, design viability. These are our bill of materials. We use per needed plastic sheets that were 24 by 36 inches and 3 16 inches thick, which cost about 23.99. Next, we also use a paper that were one by four inches, costing nine ninety nine. And lastly, we use a rubber wine paper sewing pad that measured eight centimeters with two hundred pieces and costing nine forty nine. And adding all those up, it cost us roughly forty two dollars forty cents. And then these were our comparison of materials, which included packing sheets. Uh, Mesh, zipper, plastic filling, neo PDF, and stickers. For element D, it's the construction of a dustable prototype. So here's a picture of me holding our prototype on our day one of construction. Um, so pretty much we decided to use some cardboard. We took a box cutter and we measured it to the size that we wanted. We cut that up and then we noticed there was a little thin. For our lighting. So, what we did is we did the same thing again. We cut the cardboard into the same dimension and then we glued, hot glued it together to make it thicker to see how that would hold up and how good that would be. And we actually really liked that um, thickness a lot better. And then we also um, put the Velcro on all four sides, alternating each side so that I would be able to connect to another divider if we were to make one. Here is me holding up three of our dividers that we constructed. Um, they're all connected with the Velcro, creating a liquid divider like. Um, so this was just us testing out how it would be with if we connected them all together, how it would be if we moved them around. We did different designs moving them around to see how that looked. And then finally, um, we had our final um, prototype made. We have black pieces of cardboard with Velcro. We and the Right picture, we have them four pieces Velcro together, creating dividers. And you can move them around any way you like, um, any for any type of clothing, any space you need. You can change it around in the suitcase. In the center, we have an actual suitcase with the dividers inside, um, which makes clothes all divided up. And then on the left, we just have them where if you wanted to put them away and say, I don't want the dividers right now, you can take them all apart, stack them up, and it's actually a small space to put them up. Element eight, testing and data collection plan. For our testing plan, our plan is to send out a product to 100 different travelers to test their products for efficiency by using our Velcro dividers in their suitcase and or other forms of luggage while packing enough clothes to fill the suitcase. Then they will complete and fill out our rubric shown on the next slide with the results and satisfaction, satisfaction of our product. This is the rubric we will be giving out to our travelers that will be testing our prototype. The rubric asks if our product contains organizations that travel, takes up very little space, and that allows for quick packing, if it's consumable, used in multiple forms of luggage, and if it's inexpensive. Our testers will evaluate each section on a scale of zero to two, the zero meaning the second piece of criteria, one meaning it's somewhat the criteria and two being the least set criteria. After that, the total will be added up from each section to determine our product efficiency. We are aiming to get a rating total of 9 to 12, which will show our product to display in test people. Okay, and then here we wanted to show how our product works. So we have a suitcase here. We open it up and we have the dividers and we have the clothes all in it. And it actually traveled here with me in his car. And it actually worked perfectly when he took out the suitcase. Everything was still in this box and the dividers worked 